Mama ho kaka. Yo, 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 what up? It's your boy Velsko. Today I want to continue the uh, previous episode of this little series. Um, so basically see this part two because something kind of happened during that week. Um, so my sister found a, a bird that was fallen out of the nest. So it didn't, he didn't make the flight but he was still alive so you know nature has a cruel way to say if you're not strong enough to survive then you get kicked out you get thrown away but so yeah so she took it in and we like she's she's almost raising it until it's big enough on its own uh, but yeah of course it didn't have any uh, species so maybe the bird will stick around anyway so it was kind of cute to see like you had to like feed it and such and in that sense mother nature didn't really you know say this is how it's gonna be but it made a beautiful beautiful way like we humans can do such nice things towards these birds because you know if it failed, the bird was dead. Like, plain simple. But, you know, so my sister... And like, normally the, the birds, they, have a, have a, they throw them out of the nest and then they fly. But now we can like... Uh, me and my... I, like, I did it a little bit with my sister. We can like, teach it to fly. You know, throw it a little bit and then let it flap her down and such. But like, basically condition it. or get instincts running uh, because that's how some people learn their dogs swimming they just put them in a pool instead of yeah not the fucking ocean of course but they just like make sure the primal instincts kick in and that the dog can you know out of that primal instincts know what to do and how it will continue to uh, you know learn how to swim so basically as you probably have heard all these, you don't see them, all the beautiful birds fighting over control, but because that's what the singing of birds really is. It's like a, a dog pissing against a tree, it's parking its territory. But hopefully that little birdie can grow up to be just like them. And that would be a nice thing to see. And uh, yeah, so that's, although it's not really the metaphor, but it, we humans in this age can eliminate the do or die mentality that nature inflicted upon us and create a more, uh, not necessarily better approach, but a more careful approach and a more preci precise approach where we have the ability to make, like, we, let's basically put it, we don't risk our lives to, you know, you know, I mean, like, basically, in, in some tribal cultures it's still there, like, they, they get all these tests, like a ritual test, uh, an adulthood test. Here it's more like uh, choosing university and such, and even though that's too much for some people. Um, but, like, the, the, tri the tribal, uh, pe like, the, tri the tribes in the Amazon and such, they have sometimes brutal, really brutal uh, ways of initiating the younger generation into the adulthood. Like things like bench jumping, but not, not, not safe of course, more like a rope. So it's also that do or die mentality of nature uh, with the birds. Uh, but we, 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 we can take it slow, you know, we, we can learn the bird to, to to fly up and down and get it piece by piece um, so that's something I really want to stress on like the do or die mentality from previous video is good in a sense and it works but not always like the do or, let's put it this way it's good for certain things that are like minor or don't 
matter that much, you know, to learn how to walk or to go on a skateboard or something. Well, not of course if you're going on the freeway, but that do or die mentality is for thing like things like bungee jumping and so dangerous, like jumping out of an airplane, astronaut, uh, astronauts that need training. I mean that shit is fucking dangerous. Um, so yeah, but uh, there we go. Like it's it's the, the helping each other out, you know. Instead of the mother kicking the baby out, don't blame it. Don't blame the baby mother. Uh, the birth mother. Oh, sorry. I need to take more sleep. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, that's the beauty. That's the the the. the neglection of, of species almost like uh, my, we know it's a bird but we still help it you know we still see it as part of our group and that's something really beautiful that even in nature um, is sometimes there like there are multiple occasions of like you know a, a dog becoming friends with a bear or you know normal that in, in normal circumstances they would eat each other alive but every brain in this, uni in this, in this world from the littlest bird to the highest lion seems to have a program installed that they are able to come along with other species I'm not saying that happens all the time but something beautiful that happens because the birds that, that my sister is it almost sees it as a mom because you know the bird gets fed of that, learns how to fly, learn, you know, if you if you make some sounds to it, it almost makes sounds back. So, although we like, it's not the perfect system because of the mirror neurons that that can't comprehend because they think in like human form or bird form. But it's 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 something beautiful if you think about it, like. Every species, species can get along with each other if the if the let's put it if the primal needs are fulfilled a little bit. Even the horses talk. Uh, you know we so it's that beauty of the, the cross species cooperation, that beauty of creating and helping each other. And not making sure we have to do the do or die mentality. And of course, in case of animals, it's a lot simpler. In case of humans, it's it's a lot better, you know. We can help each other out. We can give tips. We have language. We have ideas. We have complex materials. We can make statistics, although it's sometimes for the worst. But it's sometimes do or die mentality. The do or let's put it this way: the do or die mentality is perfect in the right situations and imperfect in the other situations. So, help a brother out. That's my message to you. And if you have to, do or die mentality. Other than that, you know, take it slow, take it easy. And it, it's always a group process. It's never, boom, you're a tree, you know? It's, it's slowly going up. And the do or die mentality is basically a tree that poof, spats out of the air. So in most cases it's not handy, but sometimes we need to stop bitching, stop crying about it, and just do it. Yeah. Opeten, toen pik hem af.